and let's return here to visual ATL and let's create another let me update here of course okay so <laughs> let me create another visual ETL here and right now we're gonna um, using as a source data the AWS glue data catalog I will select GW I will select the table fact orders okay this is enough and right now let me change the name let me set the name was job head shift job job orders head shift and then I will add another node just directly to target so I will select the head shift here and I will put here to go to straight to head shift, right? So when you select the head shift, we don't have any connections here. So let's create a new connection. Uh, I will put the name as head shift com. Here uh, on this connection, we have the possibility to use the secret manager too, but when I use the circuit manager with the head shift, my environment, my dev environment that I use in there, it's not be enough to do that because I have to create a cluster and make a connection through the cluster. So when I use the, the dev environment, I will put directly the username and password. So I will select my password here. So another another thing that that is important because we can we using the username admin here because it's a test scenario it's not a production uh, environment so be careful every time you're gonna use the admin it's important to be a lot of the users to do this connection and bring your data uh, with some permissions and policies set on this extraction user so this is a best practices every time you make this connection with a SQL directly. So I will create this connection here. Okay, so I can update and select the head shift con. Uh, now my scheme, my schema is gonna be public, right? So database is already select. And I, I don't have any um, table here. I can put the name of fat, fact orders. Okay, so how is handling of the data target table? We have a lot of the options here. Right now we're gonna use the append, so for this data, but it also can do the merge when I have some structures, uh, have the possibility to do um, differently structure of my source. So I have the truncate, it's gonna be, um, clear all the table and make this new connection. Also, I have to drop and recreate the table. So I will select a page. I can click, I guess it's everything. Let me see if I'm gonna, if you have everything here. So styling directory, okay. So I have to select the, the row too. So I will select the glue row. And I guess it's that. Let me save. Let me go to the job details. Of course, I have, I have to select the row here. So we'll put the glue hole and I will click in save. Okay, right now, I guess is everything here. So we can click and run. Let's go to run details and we're waiting here the end of this running job. So we finish here. We have an, another succeed, so I'm happy. Every time you see this green alert, with succeed is a, is a happiness, right? So right now, let's go in the Redshift. Redshift, as I said before, is a powerful data warehouse, cost effective, fast, simple uh, application from AWS. So it's really, really great to use that. And I will carry our new table here, the Fact Others, Orders to see if is everything okay. I will click directly on carry editor to do the, all these carries through the interface. So it's okay, this is the um, overview of the, this is the first screen of the Redshift. 
so it's be able to do all the carries here all the um, uh, SQL carries and have this possibility to do some charts and do this analysis we have the Jupyter, Jupyter or Jupyter notebook here to make this creation using the SQL too but every time you make a, um, a, a carry here you have this possibility to bring a charge to do this analysis it just uh, is a great tool for your share your data between the company because it's much more easily to do every time you have um, a company it's already know how to use the SQL to do this analysis think about the data driven concept so this is a great tool uh, it's amazing work on the head shift for um, data driven to do this analysis so here in editor I will click in, in plus I will select the editor here but not create a notebook notebook and let me see our data here of course when using the dev you have the schema college public and we have one table fact others so let me select all from public ft orders limit 10 let me execute execute and okay we have your data here so that's that's what I'm talking about when I use the we have the possibilities to spark or uh, using charge here. This is beautiful charge <laughs> is happening here. So we have this possibility to do this manipulation. So it's a great tool when I'm speaking about the data driven inside your company, right?